We're going to go to Mars, and in order to do that, we need to be able to probe deep into the planet, not just down a, a few inches or a few feet, as we have done with some other missions, but all the way down to the very center of the planet, roughly 2,000 miles uh, beneath the, the, the surface. We have a, something we call a mole, because it, it burrows down into the surface. And what it is, is it's a little torpedo about this big, with a hammer on the inside that gets wound up on a motor. And it goes over and over again, about every three seconds, hammers this thing down. And finally, it's, it should go down about what we, uh, five meters or so, which is about 15 or 16 feet. And it pulls behind its, itself a, a cable that has temperature sensors along the cable. And that amount of heat is tied to the geological activity of the planet. It's the heat engine of the planet that drives volcanism, it drives tectonic activity, it drives mountain building. So all the geological processes that happen on a planet are driven by its heat engine, and we want to measure sort of the vigor of that heat engine we can then understand better how the planet formed and, and how our planet got to be the way it is, where we can actually live and play and have a good time, whereas other planets like uh, Mars itself and like Venus uh, are places where life really uh, has a hard, would have a hard time surviving. That's kind of the, uh, an overview of the science that we're doing. And in order to do that science, of course, we have to get to Mars, and we have to put these, uh, these instruments uh, in a place where they can make their measurements. If you are in the Southern California area, you'll see a slowly expanding uh, blue circle. This is sort of the view uh, angle. So depending on where you are in Southern California, you'll be able to see the spacecraft at, very, at various points along its ascent uh, as it heads off on its way to Mars. Uh, this should be quite spectacular because it is uh, early morning hours, so it should light up the sky and be very visible throughout pretty much all of Southern California, even down into Mexico. At some point, it'll disappear because it'll get too high up in the, uh, in the sky for it actually to be visible, but it should be spectacular. If you happen to be up and nothing better to do at 4 in the morning, uh, <laughs> please take a look at, this, at, the, at your back window.